What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dominic Rich. Just for a little transfer rumor that I just saw. And I'm like, you know what, I have to talk about this because this one is very, very hot right now in terms of Chelsea and them needing to replace, replace the disaster of a goalkeeper called Kepa Aritza Malaga. World record signing for a goalkeeper, by the way, 80 million euros. 80 million they brought him from Athletic Bilbao and he has not lived up to that 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 um price tag whatsoever mistakes spat with sorry last season and it it's just you know it, it, it it's just a downward spiral for Kepa man the trajectory is downward in, in terms of his form so I'm seeing here that Chelsea want Jan Oblak but the exit clause would break world record set by the blues so they'll have to break their own goalkeeper fees record in order to replace their goalkeeper keeper alex abalaga so the article on transfer marked reads it's the source is the mirror maybe not the best source but the, the way things are going right now guys you, look 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 it makes total sense it makes total sense and if chelsea want to challenge for the premier league next season or the season after they need to stop focusing on bringing in these attackers and bolster their defense. Their defense has been looking really, really, really bad as of late. Silly mistakes. Almost allowing Crystal Palace to get back into that game. You know, losing to Sheffield three goals to nil. Like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, you don't lose to Sheffield three nil. A team like Chelsea? No, it does not happen. You know, and no disrespect to Sheffield, but come on. Come on. But anyways, the article reads, Premier League side Chelsea want to replace goalkeeper Kepa and sign Atletico Madrid's Jan Oblak, who's a Slovenian international, by the way, according to a report by the Mirror. The Blues signed Kepa for 80 million euros from Athletic Bilbao in what is still a record transfer fee for a goalkeeper. Jan Oblak, whose market value is currently at 80 million, though. You know, but he will cost more. And the article continues to say the Blues could now once again set a new record by signing Oblak, the 27-year-old Slo Slovakian. He's not Slovakian, you see? Slovenian. Slovenian. Article gets it wrong right here. <laughs> Is the most valuable keeper in the world with a market value of 80 million euros and has a 130 million exit clause or buyout clause, and it's, as it's better known as. Chelsea hope, however, that they can negotiate a deal with Atletico Madrid that would see Kepa going the other way, I guess, plus cash, and they get their boy, Yano Black, who I think, and who a lot of people think and know, is probably the best goalkeeper in the world. I know the Liverpool fans like to say it's, it's Alisson, but a lot of people know it's this guy, Oblak. The London-based club value Oblak at less than 110 million euros. Kepa, in the meantime, has seen his market value collapse from 60 million to just 32 million since joining Chelsea. Out of favor at the club, Chelsea have been linked to various goalkeepers, including German Manuel Neuer, hmm, that's not happening, who has since signed a new contract at Bayern Munich. So, yo, they have been linked to Andre Onana as well of Ajax, and I think that should be the goalkeeper that they should go in for. Kepa won't be able to go the opposite way. I don't think he's going to go play in the Eredivisie. Definitely not. But Kepa, Kepa. In the 2019-20 season, 31 games, only 7 clean sheets, and he has conceded 42 goals. I think I'm reading that right, 42 goals. But Chelsea are in a spot about it right now, trying to gain top 4 football for Champions League next season. And if they are unable, if they are unable to secure a Champions League place, why would Jan Oblak want to leave Atletico Madrid, who, who's in the Champions League every year, and are currently in a Champions League spot, to go and play for Chelsea in the Europa League? Like, I don't, I don't, it doesn't make sense. 
But the swap deal could make some sense. Kepa going the other way, plus cash for Jan Oblak if Chelsea does make it to the Champions League. It, you know, Kepa is going back to Spain. Jan Oblak goes on a new adventure to play for Chelsea, who is a very, you know, prestigious club. Champions League winner, Premier League winner, multiple Premier League winner. Let's just make that clear. And it could be a deal that could actually make or break Chelsea's next season and the seasons to come. I would love to see Jan Oblak in the Premier League as well. Oh man, it would be a hell of a Premier League season if we, you know you, you get a player like Jan Oblak there. And you need a defender. Not just have Oblak in the back, they need a defender. So they, they got to spend, man. Forget about Kai Havertz and spend some money on your freaking defense, Chelsea. So, guys, that's just my thoughts. Your boy Dominic Rich, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Like the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Head on over to cardsplug.com. See the cards right there. Check out one of those lovely cards. Use the coupon code Dominic Rich FC to get yourself 15% off your orders. All the links will be in the description box down below. And until next time, thanks for watching. Peace out. Rich Squad.